Microsoft Town Hall has a bunch of event templates. There's webinars, town halls, virtual appointments, regular meetings, managed meetings. It all can leave you wondering, which one am I supposed to pick? Well, let's break them all down and figure out which one is best for you. Let's start with an old standby, just a regular Teams meeting. If your event has less than a thousand people, regular Teams meeting is a pretty good way to go. It is easy to set up. Everyone kind of knows what the deal is. It has PowerPoint Live, which is awesome. Presenters can kind of toss the deck back and forth without needing to take down the share. PowerPoint Live has really good video playback if that's in your deck. And it encourages direct audience communication, right? Attendees can also come off mic and come on camera. So, you know, somebody can accidentally unmute, yell at their dog, kind of throw the vibe off a little bit. So it is a good idea to have one dedicated person there to keep the people tab open, make sure that people are staying muted, make sure that the presenters are being spotlit. But otherwise, uh, you know, if you're going for a tone that's a little bit more familiar, regular meetings is a really good option. That brings us directly to manage meetings. Managed meetings are like regular meetings, but a little fancier, right? For these, you create a regular meeting and select more options on the right here. A lot of these options will depend on your organization's Teams account, but generally, you decide who presents, you can turn the chat on or off, you can turn on a Q&A widget, and you can select manage what attendees see, which is basically a supercharged spotlighting where the only thing people see is what's spotlighted. So a managed meeting is a really great option if you wanna keep that sort of familiar environment with a regular meeting, but you know, you just wanna focus your attendees a little bit more on the PowerPoint and the presenters. Webinars. So a webinar is a managed meeting. Everything I just said about a managed meeting is what the event for a webinar is, but webinars lean really heavy on registration. Let's start with the invitation. Here you can set up a themed page with presenter bios where folks can register. And you can collect important details from your attendees by setting up fields for data like email, zip code, industry, job title, all kinds of information. With registration, you can make a really amazing first impression with custom invitations, collect more info from your audience, send reminders, and stay in touch after the event. So what you get with webinars is data. You get a really clear idea of who your audience is before and after the event. It also has kind of an elevated experience for your attendees. They get a really nice landing page. They get to answer some questions. They get kind of that playbill of a bio and a summary of the event. So if that's what you're looking for, it's a great option. Let's talk Town Hall. We did an entire series on Town Hall, sort of from the very beginning of setting it up to wrapping an event and getting a post-event report. So if you have more questions about Town Hall, be sure to check that out. But in short, Town Hall allows for up to 20,000 attendees. Those attendees can engage with the event either through a chat or a moderated Q&A or an open Q&A or a combination of any of these. And you as a person that's running a Town Hall have a lot of control over what that audience sees. You can put people on, you can take people off, you can have up to seven presenters on at any time, deck, no deck, that's really great. Admittedly, it's kind of a lot to learn, plugging that series again, but it is helpful, especially if you've never done it before. And it does give you a lot of control over what the audience sees. It doesn't give you total control. So say for example, you have a presenter on screen and you wanna bring three other people on. So you want a grid view of four people for like fireside chat. You don't get to decide who goes where on that grid. So you might want your interviewer to be in the top left. Maybe that'll happen, but that's by some random number generator, right? You don't get to be the one to decide that. The biggest note I have, something I'm very hopeful that they change soon, but as now, as of now, when I'm recording this, Town Hall doesn't support PowerPoint Live. So when you share out a deck, that has to be kind of an old school screen share. So it's important that you have a second monitor to share that out and is dedicated to that screen share. If you put a cursor over it, the audience will see that. If you have a video playback, you really have to remember to hit that little share audio toggle. If you forget, you have to take down the deck, share it out again. Something to keep in mind still. All of these things aside, if your show, if your event has more than a thousand attendees, or you just want a more elevated experience for your audience and your presenters, Town Hall really is a great option. But if you are looking for a high-end broadcast experience with complete and total control over visuals, branding, animated lower thirds, pretty much anything you can dream of, check us out at worktankglobal.com. <laughs> Virtual appointments. Virtual appointments are kind of a new template on the block. 
It's not really like an event as I think of them in my job, but they are cool and they're in that little drop down. So let's talk about it. A virtual appointment is great if you, let's say you have somebody that you need to set up a meeting with that is external from your org or, you know, like doesn't have Microsoft Teams. Virtual appointment is a way to create a nice tailored invitation for a regular old meeting. The external client will get an email with all the information they need. When they click to join, it will open a window in a web browser that automatically puts them in a lobby. From there, you can let them in and have an in-browser experience. That's it. In short, if your event has less than a thousand people and you want to keep the tone a little more familiar, you want your attendees to be able to come off mic, just go with the regular meeting. If that sounds good, but you want to keep the focus a little bit more on the presenter and the presentation, go with the manage meeting. If you need more data, if you need to know who that audience is, or you want to send out a nicer invite for just a regular meeting, go with webinar. If your event has more than a thousand attendees, or you just kind of want a higher end experience for both your attendees and your presenters, go with town hall. If you need to send out a Teams invite, just a regular meeting, to an external client that you're not entirely sure is on Microsoft Teams, go with virtual appointment. And if you need a completely custom solution with branding, graphics, lower thirds, anything at all, give us a call. Now, I want to hear from you. Have you used any of these templates? Are there any features that you're looking forward to being added in the future? Let us know in the comments. For Work Tank, my name's Sean. Thanks so much for watching. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more on all things live events and check out our website at worktankglobal.com for more videos, blog posts, and information on how to take your event to the next level.